Um, we were doing the perfume. 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 Little spritzy. Little spritzers. Little spritzy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my glossy box unboxing for April. Um, March's glossy box was not too hot in my opinion, so I'm hoping that this one for April is a little bit better. Let's get into this unboxing. I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know what's inside here besides the ColourPop lippies. I do know that there's like a mascara and some skincare products, I think. Um, I saw some other unboxings on Instagram, so this is the pretty pink box for this month. Let's see what's inside. So we've got this pretty purple, like lavender spring awakening. Um, oh, it smells good. Something in here smells really good. So this is the little pamphlet for spring. Oh, it's got some pretty like paper flowers on the back. And I like looking at these because I like knowing how uh, much each product costs. Um, and there is supposed to be eight products in here this month, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. There's gonna be seven or eight products in here, I think. So let's see what is inside. Now, I'm like super picky about like the packaging. Like I feel like if I'm ordering a monthly subscription and then you know they've got the tissue paper which is nice and the little crinkle cuts inside. But I'm so annoyed that they can't get the stupid sticker in the center of this tissue paper. Like I don't know why that bugs me, but it does. It's it's always off. It's not even close to the center. Like, they don't even look like they tried to get in the middle. All right. So let's see what is in the box. Oh, something smells really good in here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. This is by the brand Visanti. It's a bright, it says Brighten Up Enzymatic Face rejuvenate, Rejuvenator. Enzymatic probably is what that is. It's an exfoliating cleanser with papaya, microcrystals, and aloe. I really like the packaging. This pretty, like, bright blue. Um, you'll get a, a lot of good uses out of this, I think. Um, dramatically improves your skin's texture to reveal softer, brighter, and younger looking skin. This powerful exfoliator mimics professional microdermabrasion results using 99% natural ingredients. So that's nice. This will probably be really good for my skin. I'm really excited to use it because I do have some larger pores and texture problems up on my um, T-zone area here. So this is exciting. And I really like this like blue packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging like most people are. This is 7 ounces. The full size product is 4.2 ounces and retails for $34. So this is a nice little um, container. Alright, next up I had seen... Oh, this is cute. Be Kind. That's adorable. This is a body lotion with honey and organic chamomile extracts. That's nice. The honeybee population is in crisis. A portion of the proceeds of this product supports honeybee and sustainable pollination research. That's really cool. I like that. It says it's good for skin and earth, no parabens, cruelty free, and biodegradable. I wonder if that means this product, like the plastic, is biodegradable. Biodegradable. Ooh, that smells good. Yep, I like that. I'm not like big into sweet smells, so this has a nice like kind of spicy scent. Um, I like it, like that a lot. So I'll use that. That's a good little size to throw in your bag. So let's see, Gilchrist and Soames um, Be Kind Body Lotion. This is one fluid ounce. Um, so a full size is eight ounces. And it retails for $16. So that's cool. Get a whole little ounce. This is a nice like travel size. Throw in your purse. Good to go. Alright, let's see what else is... Oh! Well, we've got another thing by the same brand. So I also got the shower gel. So I have a shower gel and then I've got the body lotion um, for after you get out of the shower. And it's from London, England. 
The shower gel has lemongrass and the body lotion has chamomile extra extracts. I really am struggling today, guys. Okay. It smells pretty similar. Oh. <laughs> they do have very similar scents, even though like it's chamomile and lemongrass. I like them. I don't hate the scent, so I'll, I'll definitely use them. They've got cute little black packaging. It's matte packaging, and then there's like, I'll do close-ups, but there's like little plaid, shiny, and then like argyle print. So, that's cute. Alright, I'm waiting for the ColourPop for last because I don't want to try and put lipstick on right this second. Alright, so I see two other things that are from the same brand also. It says Beauty Shampoo and Beauty Conditioner. White and pink packaging. The, who is this by? It just says Beauty Shampoo and Conditioner Mystery Bonus Products. Is that the brand? Beauty Shampoo? I'll have to look at it. I don't know. It's, it's distributed by Procter & Gamble though. So that's, I don't know. And it doesn't feel like high quality to me. And it doesn't sh tell me what the full size is and what the price is. Um, so I have a feeling this is not, yeah, this just feels like a drugstore. It smells a lot like Head and Shoulders shampoo or even like Garnier Fructis. Very floral, florally and fruity. I don't know. I mean, I'll use them probably. <laughs> okay, so moving on. Shampoo conditioner. I use that. So maybe I'll use it. All right, next thing I see in here is this tiny little black and pink thing, which is in French. I do not know French. Let's see. Okay, this is by Jafra. That's the American pronunciation of that. <laughs> Jafra Cosmetics International. It's a per perfume. Ooh, it's in like a little. Here, let me show you the packaging, I guess. Came out of this little dude. Little dude dead. Also, I don't like purchase perfume on a regular basis, so I have no idea what a good size is, but to me this looks like a good size sample of, um, I'm assuming, is this sample? Let me read. I, I don't know anything about perfume. Okay, my husband walked in, so, um, we were doing the perfume. Perfume, perfume, little spritzy. Little spritzers. Little spritzy. This is by Jaffer Cosmetics. Um, this size, this is 0.23 fluid ounces. Full size is 1.7 fluid ounces um, and retails for $52. It shows on here that I also would have gotten either this one or a Vince Camuto perfume and I would have probably rather had that one. But that's okay. Anyway, this is from Perry and that smells nice. It's a little bit florally with kind of a musky undertone. It's not like a strong, super floral, girly scent. It's kind of like a flirty, sexy scent to me. And I don't think this is going to tell me any notes on it. No. Um, okay. So this is inspired by the city of Paris. It contains Mara strawberries, rose petal macaron, and creamy silky wood are all integral notes you'll find layered throughout. But I'm not a fan of like super strong sweet smells. Like I don't like candles that are like the really like sugar cookie and I don't know chocolate or gingerbread. I don't like scents like that. I like muskier like cologne men smelling scents. <laughs> um, so this isn't too florally or too sweet for me. I like it. This is something I would probably wear. So that's nice. 
Um, next up, and probably one of the things I might be most excited about is this mascara. I have not gotten a mascara in a glossy box yet. And that's like, that's my thing. Like, if I don't have anything on my face, I'm wearing at least a mascara in my eyebrows. Like, that's my must-have. So, this is, I am probably going to say the name of this brand super wrong. Ducey? Ducey? I don't know. D-O-U-C-C-E. It's really, it's odd. So this is a full size product of 0.5 ounces. I don't like that there's like literally no information on this at all. Like at all. Just the brand name here and then Max Lash Volumizer Mascara. That's all this says. That's not helpful at all. So let's see what this wand looks like. Can you see it? Can you see? I don't have the wand out yet. I just wanted to make sure it's in the frame. Oh. So these are fibers? Is that what that said? Yeah, these are fiber bristles. And it looks like it kind of dips down in the center of it a little bit. So it's kind of thicker on the inside and the outside. But it looks like it's, it's longer in this direction. And then when I turn it sideways, it looks like it's short on one end or on one side. I don't know. Is that just me? No, it is. Okay. So I like mascaras. I'll definitely use that. All right. Two ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippies. I'm excited about these. I was almost made a ColourPop order like the week of my birthday because they were doing free shipping and they were also releasing like all of their spring stuff. So I still want some of their new um, releases and I'll probably make a I'll probably make an order pretty soon, but I'm glad to get ColourPop lippies. I do like the Ultra Matte formula. There are some um different colors that I have that actually are really terrible formulas almost like they're really really drying but I think it's because they're not quite as liquidy as the other ones that feel nice on my skin I can't open this I have other ones that feel really good and don't like flake off or get gross but some of the ones I have that are kind of like a thicker almost moussey texture when I'm applying it those are the ones that get in the cracks of my lip and like try to pull my lips off of my face. That's what they do. I can't. Okay. The colors I have are Monday and Teeny Tiny. I don't know if this is what everyone got. Um, maybe, maybe not. Oh, I was expecting this to be a really bright color. I thought Monday was like a super hot bright pink. This is a really pretty color. It's like a nice neutral ooh so this looks like a liquid this looks more liquidy so I think this will be really nice on my lips I am gonna love this because I bought some my first order I bought from ColourPop I had ultra mattes in it that I was hoping were gonna be like brownie darker neutrals on me this one might dry down to a pretty nice neutral for me which I'm excited about because the other ones were like a little too grayish on my skin um, and now I'm being told my battery is dying so there might not be an outro okay the other one I have is teeny tiny oh this is a pretty color I thought I was gonna get like a super hot pink but I'm so glad these are neutral colors oh this is like a like a mauvey purpley gray let me let me put one on. I don't know. I'm going to go for Monday, which is like the lighter, the lighter color. Let me get my camera, my phone camera out and try this. Can you, you guys see all right? My lips are a little bit crusty. This is so weird putting lipstick on using a camera. Formula is nice and thin, um, like the other ones I have that feel really good. This looks so pretty. I don't know how good I actually applied this at all. Like, I cannot tell. 
I think I did an okay job. So I'm going to zoom you in so you can see this color. This is Monday, and the other one is Teeny Tiny. So I'll zoom you guys in real quick. Whoa, sorry, that one just gets you in your way. So this is the color Monday. Oh man, I really like this. I'm going to be wearing this so much now. I love it so much. And then let me go ahead and swatch them for you. This is like the neutral that I've been looking for. That is so pretty. And then Teeny Tiny, which is this darker, mauvey, purpley, gray. And again, nice and liquidy. So it'll be nice and matte without being too drying. Oh my goodness, these colors are perfect for me. I'm so excited to use these. <sighs> Look at that. This is like my Monday everyday nude. This teeny tiny will be like a date night or um, nighttime nude. Oh my gosh, I love these colors so much. I'm so stoked. So that finishes up my April Glossy Box unboxing. Um, the two products I'm probably most excited about would be these two ColourPop products. Um, I'm also really excited to try out the mascara. Overall, I'm actually really happy with April's Glossy Box. If you would like to sign up for your own Glossy Box, I will leave a link down below where you can sign up through my name and what that does that just gives me a, I think like 250 glossy dots towards my account and glossy dots are used to redeem for other products or prizes or a free box um, so if you'd like to use that link you totally can if not that's fine and I'll just link the glossy box um, website so you can just sign up on your own um, I do have the monthly subscription and my husband bought it for me for Christmas actually. So if you want to check out my blog, you can see previous boxes that I've posted on there. Um, and you can see my thoughts on the products that I've received and if I've been using them. And just what they look like and how, how I felt about the box for that month. So I will leave my blog down below. So if you'd like to follow me on Facebook or Twitter or Pinterest or Instagram, I'll leave all those handles down below as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.